Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In today's session, we are going to look into the overview of system integration framework in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. The system integration framework helps you to integrate application data with other application, either within your enterprise or with external system. The framework includes the predefined content that enables integration with a number of business objects. The integration frameworks provide the multiple options for sending, receiving the data. You can evaluate which approach is the most efficient for your requirement when you are planning an integration. In the system integration framework, Oracle WMS Cloud use some steps for processing the interface file in our WMS Cloud. We will see and so you can see over here in this picture, in both input and output processes, SFTP must be required. SFTP is nothing but a secure file transfer protocol. Now in the case of input, so host drop the interface file. Our host drop the interface file to the shared SFTP folder. So before starting the system integration framework, we have to create the SFTP folder. Now in the next steps, Oracle Cloud WMS picks up, the WMS Cloud picks up the file from the SFTP and processes it to the WMS. And at the last, it transfer our data into the cloud to the Oracle WMS cloud, right? So in this way, we can perform the input process in the system integration framework. So we have the different, different interface to perform the system integration in the input. So in the next phase, we are going to perform the output system integration in the WMS cloud. So in the output, the WMS cloud will generate the outbound file, you can see the WMS generate the outbound file, the shipment, the receiving. And in the next step, the WMS cloud drop this file, this interface file to the shared SFTP folder. And uh, at the end, our host, that is our client, picks up the file from the SFTP folder and process it right in the WMS cloud. So in this way, the system integration framework will work in our WMS cloud. So we have some supported file. So Oracle WMS cloud supports some following format for both inbound, outbound integration with the interface. We have some standard interface currently supported, flat file, XML file, CSV, XLS file, right? EDI and your MHE, MHE nothing but a material handling equipment messages are currently translated through a third party application from the web services. So these are the supported format when we are performing the inbound and outbound integration, right? And we have the input interface. So we have some input interface in Oracle WMS Cloud. Input interface in WMS Cloud in is present in the form of like purchase order items, items facility specific, item barcode, item prepack, inbound shipment, all the orders in our application or vendor, and you can say the supplier, appointments, stores, locations. And we have the routes and price labeling information, ship to company, site, assets are the input interface in our inbound integration, right? And we have some standard out, output interface. So we have the option in Oracle WMS Cloud to share the information to the external system through our output interface. For example, ASN in verification, we have the shipment confirmation like parcel manifest, uh, LT, L shipment, right? And we have the inventory summary, 
inventory history so these are the output interface for the outbound integration right so this is all about the system integration framework support format input and output interface integration so thanks for watching this video thank you so much